Beautiful. And action. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to introduce what's happening? Uh, yeah, we're... We're doing a podcast, yeah. like we do. Like we do every week. Every week. Yeah. Only this time, we've got a we've got a guest. We've got our first ever guest. We've got our first ever guest. I'm honoured. Um, yeah. And she you're not allowed to, to talk until, until, we, sorry, sorry. until we introduce you. I'm not here yet. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe this should just be us and then we'll be like, hey, hey. Okay. I'll just walk in like, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Been here um, the whole time. So we haven't planned how guests on the show guys this is our first ever time all. so we're just gonna roll <laughs> just, with it everyone's just come here and now we're doing the podcast yeah um we should say that emily is our very very good friend as well but we yeah, thought she'd be a very interesting guest to have on so we're we're obviously we just want to hang out but we do you think that she'd be a great person <laughs> to have on agreed yeah. um so should we like why don't you emily? give us an introduction to emily oh, quite a lot of pressure, but what's okay. emily to you Okay. Mm. Oh God, I'm gonna cry. Take cry. <laughs> Here we go. So Emily is one of my best friends. First Team. of all, love. Um, she's also an interesting person to have on because I feel like you've worn a lot of hats, like in your career, and you've done a lot of different interesting things. But one of the things that we do always talk about on the podcast and gas you about is Frank Floristry, which mm. is your business. Um, so I want to talk about that, but I also think you've just had a really interesting life. Yeah, in my few short years, it's been crazy. See? <laughs> and I think we should, like, dive into that a bit. I also just love you, and I think you're really funny, and I think she'd be a great, you'd be a great addition to, like, talk about the relationship questions as well. So we're going to do a bit of both, aren't we? We're going to, like, set the scene, yeah. give Emily, like, we'll get, ask you some questions about <clears throat> your stuff that you do, and then we'll just have your input so feel free to just chat whenever you like <laughs> i know i'm just silently smiling at you yeah. like, <laughs> i love you emily i'm really happy with so she's our first ever guest so we're just gonna let's just roll with it and see how it works out right? yeah i mean are you gonna ask me to do my introduction oh yeah to sorry as well? you now you say about emily as well thanks oh my god double um for me emily is also a very good friend mm -hmm. uh who i haven't known for very long mm -hmm. neither of you really it's only been like two years literally. I think. literally yeah we're like new friends but we're best friends it's very weird <laughs> yeah how <laughs> sick yeah. um also fiance to bubbins oh, who is yeah. Sorry, also a really that. good friend what a guy. yeah um we're fiancés together sorry. <laughs> and yeah what i think i would like to um kind of like bring our viewers um attention. attention to is just like emily's wonderful energy oh, such Gosh. a better answer than mine I'm, I'm gonna do this every week <laughs> <laughs> literally that's so true do you know we always yeah. say like we actually when we finish mention... seeing you and zach yeah. like when we go home it's always just like wow the energy, the energy is, is so positive so and healthy positive lovely isn't it we love yeah that. so lovely it's kind so... of like a bit of dream right now <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of a weird dream nice things about the me. fact that we organized it this morning as well <laughs> yeah. it's a very weird situation like it. yeah yeah very last minute it's very us yeah so welcome so, emily that's yeah that's... and thank you for having me you're very welcome and we're so excited to have you it's our first ever guest yeah it's that's crazy isn't it mm. yeah i think so couldn't really think of anyone better Oh, neither. Yeah. Right, let's begin, everyone. So where do we start? Well, I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> In my life. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start with Frank? Should we, like, explain to everyone what Frank, flank, Frank is? Flank. Flank. <laughs> I would love to know, like... We have so many questions. Yeah, like, your... Like where, like like where you're at, what your what, what your you situation is, like what yeah. you, how you, and, okay. uh, yeah, like tell, the tell the people what you do. Yeah. So I'm a florist. Um, I've only been a florist for three years, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. But I do floristry, like for another person. So I work in a shop, like a florist shop, mm -hmm. and then I also do Frank Floristry, which is my own floristry. And I was freelancing in London doing floristry. So it's a nice mix, because it's like, I like doing my own thing, although you've seen me doing my own thing, I'm quite stressed when I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, but I also love where I work, yeah. so I like being employed and being self-employed. See, it's the best personally. of both, yeah. I think. It's a great situation. It is, I like I work with such funny people. We just have a great time. Yeah. But yeah, I do weddings and events when I do Frank floristry. So that's, that's love, pretty much me. We love me. Frank, don't we? We love Frank. Frank is a very cool vibe. It's a very cool vibe. You do have a cap, which I always think I you should like. One cap. I want to like wear a Frank cap, really. Yeah. But 
Yeah. yeah. In fact, I I went and helped out oh, for a day. You were a I was freelancing yeah. for the day. Employee. Yeah, yeah, which is which <laughs> really honestly cool. was like one of the funnest days I've had in a long Aww. time. But I was really jealous of that day. I didn't get to wear the cap. I know. And I like brought it cap- and everything. Did you actually have it? Yeah, in I had it in my bag. Why but didn't I fe- you wear I felt it? embarrassed being like, you have to wear my cap. <laughs> <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted to. That would have been cool. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what to get us for Christmas. Yeah, to make I get asked quite a caps. lot, and it's literally from like Vistaprint. Yeah, I, I know, just and you only have like two, one. don't you? Only got one. Yeah, see, we're all, we're all after this cap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just building up, you know, the excitement yeah, for it. Yeah, you're really yeah. doing it well. Oh my God, it'll drop. So we talk about it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was doing some weddings with Frank. Yeah. My alter ego. <laughs> yeah, Frank sounds like another person. It's really yeah, funny. It's, it's a good idea. It's just a bloke's name. Yeah. Also, some people think I'm called Frank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, who is Frank? Like, nobody, are they? It's just no. like, yeah, where's, no. where did Frank Because it was come foraging from? for floristry yeah. was the original name. And then I was like, foraging to sell is illegal. So I'm going to have to change that. Oh, yeah. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, you can't That's forage. Funny. Or you need a license or something. Oh, I don't know. So you can't be called that. No. Right. And I live in Hove, so there's not much foraging around. Yeah, it's not really foraging. Yeah. <laughs> foraging in people's front gardens. Yeah, yeah. so foraging isn't happening right now. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Frank is like, to be Frank, like, it's quite down to Straightforward. Earth, easy going. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the vibe. That I'm makes after. sense. Yeah, I like that I a lot. I've never even asked you that before, but yeah, yeah, I get that. I just chose it one day. Yeah, and I, I was like, like that a lot. Sounds kind of cool. And it also begins with F, so it wasn't like a huge change. You know no. What I mean? Yeah, no. Yeah, and the goal was to really go for it this year because basically where I've done a lot of work for other people and a lot of them were very high-end celebrity clients so I'm not allowed to use the photos from them because it's Mm -hmm. like in their nice houses. Um, So I don't really have much of a portfolio of my own work. So this year was just to do some weddings, get some nice photos of it. Florists are just very interesting places to work. Mm. Yeah. And there's cute things like on Saturday, these little boys came in and they were like, I want to buy one flower for my mum. And I was like, I love you. And I was like, it's a pound. Yeah. And then he was with his friend and he was like, are you not going to buy your mum a flower? Oh, uh-huh. it's really, we always say this, it's really personal. Like, yeah. you're the person that's like, do you remember when that guy ordered like four, maybe we should cut this out, I don't know. He ordered like loads of bouquets for Valentine's Day for like all different people. Yeah, for and his like, wife, girlfriend, mistress. See, and you're the one you're that's like, like same message all in all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a very personal thing, I think. Yeah, and they're just some characters. Yeah. But yeah, the goal with Frank is to eventually just end up doing just that. Mm. But who knows when, who knows where. See, Sick. alleviate the pressure. It's too much to like put a date on it. You don't know. Maybe, yeah, one day you'll be like, okay, I'm ready to leave now. Yeah, or maybe it'll just naturally happen. Yeah. Mm. But we always talk about that, don't we? Like, when do you know when to take the leap, which is going to be, I mean, you've done that, I've done that. It's like, it's stressful, there's no guarantees. <laughs> like, if you're enjoying where you are, why would you sort Yeah, of... if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's, That's it. how I feel, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I well, love yeah, my yeah. work. Yeah. Exactly. I still haven't done a minute of paid work <laughs> since I quit my job. You did yeah, just get you did just get one. Yeah, we've been hanging out. Yeah, I'm starting a new job tomorrow. So, it, yeah, it's all, uh, it has... No, you came uh, and worked for me on your first day. That was true, freedom. actually. Yeah, sorry, yeah, that was the actually, first, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the first day of self-employment, I was working with you. So You're I like, guess, can yeah, I put I've some flowers day. in the vases? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah go on. <laughs> yeah, Emily actually let me, like, have... No, I saw the video of you yeah. putting things together. I was really going for it. Yeah, yeah you're great. I You're quite a, good with stuff like that. I had a nice time doing that. Mm. Yeah, that was It's good. relaxing. Yeah, that was good fun. What happened before you, like, got into floristry? So this is kind of a weird thing because I feel like it was a massive part of my life, but I didn't really talk about it for ages. Mm. Not because anything like terrible happened. It just, yeah, I just didn't really talk about it, but it was my main job for five years. Mm. So as soon as I left school, well, actually, whilst I was still at sick form, I was a model. Yeah. Woohoo. Professional model, guys. Professional model, yeah. yeah. And I think that's why I never really spoke about it because it's like kind of cringe. Like all my friends are working in like Waitrose and stuff. And I'm like, and you're like, oh, I'm a model, guys. Yeah. Especially when you're like slightly insecure teenager. Don't yeah. Know. It's a weird one. Yeah. But yeah, I did that for five years full time. And I was like a fashion model. That, so I do like fashion weeks and like editorial kind of stuff. Mm. And part of that is I lived in China. So interesting. Which isn't was. It? wild <laughs> what's like living in china like it was pretty horrible at the time but i think it's just because of like the job it wasn't china mm-hmm. yeah yeah because <laughs> yeah, I, I lived in a small flat with five russian girls um and i was just doing like 20 hour days every day 
Yeah, and that's it was a lot. It's so mad. And also to move to China is like a huge adjustment on its own without Literally. working every hour of the day. Like I wanted to be sent to Australia because basically I had a horrible breakup and I was like, send me somewhere far away. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you were picturing like beach the vibes. Beach. They're like, we're sending you to the other side of the world. And you're like, fuck yeah, let's yeah. go Australia. Yeah, <laughs> cuts me in the airport. Ni hao. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh god, this is quite scary. <laughs> But like it was a great experience. Like, it was very character building. Yeah, um, I bet. So how old were you when you moved there? I was pretty old in modelling world. I was okay. like twenty. Okay, so that's <laughs> which old. is quite old. Yeah, because I was doing. So I was a model since I was sixteen. So this was kind of like when I was coming to the end of being like, mm-hmm. I never loved it, but it was just a good job, and like you make good money from it. So like, yeah. why would you not do it? Mm-hmm. Um, but this was kind of like the beginning of the end of modelling mm-hmm. for me. Got you. Uh, yeah, I, there's lots of crazy stories about that. I was there for six weeks, and then you go into the office, like to your agency, and they're like, "Here you go, here's your money," and it's like freshly printed fifty pound notes. Oh my god! It's so weird. Like, and yeah. so I it sounds like a film. Literally at ten thousand pounds in freshly printed. <laughs> I, believe I, no. street, like. I literally put it in my backpack, and I was like, "Okay, it's been great to meet you. Bye." <laughs> oh my god. Then I obviously fly home, get to my. Sm- I live in a small. Well, at the time I was living in a small town, like on the outskirts of Brighton. So I get oh, to Seaford. With, with that money in Yeah, your in cash. Your... My mum was like, can I hold it? How did you fly <laughs> home with that? Did you have well, your hand luggage? Yeah, it was in my hand luggage. And I was supposed to, I think you're supposed to like say. Say. Right. But they, to get around that, they printed 5,000 of it in English pounds and 5,000 in US dollars. Okay. And then I go to Lloyd's TSB in Seaford. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is this? I was this? like, yeah, like who sent you here? What is going on? Because yeah. where they printed it in China, like, the serial numbers on each note was going up perfectly in order. Oh, right, yeah. And like, but then I thought it was going to be weird. So I was like, a bit nervous, shaking. Like, oh, huh, can I like cash this in? And she's like, where did you get this from? And I was just like, China. <laughs> <laughs> and she just went, all right. And cashed it in. <laughs> well, I was like, Were you okay, relieved cool. to finally have it in an account? Like, would you, I would no, have been like walking. it's so cool holding a big pile of money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have been walking around the airport like, someone's going to like take this bag off yeah. me and all my money's going to be Although gone. Although my bag was so ripped and disgusting that I was like, no one is thinking that I've got 10 yeah, that's true. in my that's bag. True. But yeah, God, and then so that was actually mad. the last modeling job I ever did was China. So you just called it from there? Did you like... No, so I got back, had a bit of a mental breakdown because mm. it was just a lot. And yeah, it was a lot. And then I went to Australia for three months just to like recover. Mm. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just wanted to travel. You so I a went little there. Break, yeah. And then I got back, I went into my London agency. And in Australia, I was like drinking a little beer, having a great time. Got a summer boyfriend, fantastic. Yeah. And then went back to my agency and they were like oh like it's great to have you back um you're gonna have to lose some weight though if you want to do it and I was like you know what I quit yeah and so then I just never did it again yeah so I was 21 by that point that's a really brave like brave move to do that because a lot of people would probably be like okay and then it's just like downhill from there isn't it like well that's the thing so there was this girl yeah I think because I was older I didn't mind say I was 16 I would have been like oh okay would have been so I can't believe like they're allowed to say that do you know what I mean it's very intense isn't it um, also like impressionable girls yeah Yeah. Yeah. and they can say it because the whole point the whole point is about how you look yeah Yeah. and they're like it's changed now it's so diverse and it's like you're, it's not really because you either still have to be really skinny to do these like editorial things yeah. or it's like plus size and more like curvy models yeah. if like you're kind of in between that there's no place for it yeah but I was kind of happy because I was like you know what it's not meant I'm to. over it yeah. Mm. yeah but it is interesting because this girl I won't name her name mm-hmm. but she we looked alike and so we always went to the same castings oh which when you think about it, it's so weird like so you turn weird. up to a room and it's just like 10 of you you're yeah, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> which but, one's the most attractive me yeah <laughs> god it's the whole thing you're like, oh is god. that what i look like <laughs> <laughs> but she yeah we would go to all the same castings she did lose weight and she became very very successful really did and she? she still is very very really? successful oh my god, like okay. she's had an incredible career wow so it's just interesting i'm like yeah. what could have been but I would have been very sad. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how you would have been able to take that and not have a really tough time doing. Like, yeah. what, you're going to go and do lose weight and then. And I wasn't See, overweight either. Well, do you know exactly. What I mean? Like, like mm. it's really tough. Yeah, the industry is still just like that. I feel mm. like they say, "Oh, yeah, it's different." Yeah, but... I feel like they paint it out to be. I mean, I have no idea, but like, yeah, this kind of more inclusive place that's so different, like far from that. But yeah. like, 
Is it? No, I mean, how can it be 100% like that? Yeah. You're just checking it's recording. (laughs) Are we still recording? Are we still recording? (laughs) God, it's so interesting. Do you feel like, like, how do you feel about it now looking back on that time? I feel pretty, like, impressed that I did it. Because at the time, I, like, didn't really think about it. It's, modelling's quite weird as well because you might not work for like a week or two and then you do a big job like Mm -hmm. it's not very regular and I was still living in my small town so I was just like commuting up when I had stuff but I'd like go up go to one casting they'd be like no and they're like okay see ya like it's just like god that's like with the rejection as well like I would have found that tough yeah I didn't find it too bad because it is very much just like if you fit what we want yeah great if not, if not no right. it's not like you're ugly yeah and then you get another one and yeah. another one and it's although like... I did do a job once where I was a fitting model for this designer and that's basically like if they have so when fashion week's coming up and they've got their collection they want to like just try it on a model like to see what it looks like and they might change things mm. I was a shoe fitting model for Celine oh so I just God. put shoes on that's <laughs> <sick>. <laughs> Like, this is the best job I've ever yeah. had. I see. I bet they were stunning shoes as well. Yeah, it was great. And literally Phoebe Philo would be sat there like eating a kiwi. Ah, <gasps> stop. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. the foot girl. <laughs> yeah. And then the clothes girl would come in and I'd be like, why doesn't she just eat the shoes? If you've got massive feet. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. But then this other one, I was doing the clothes for it. And I'd worked with them quite a few times. Like I thought we had kind of a good relationship. And I was doing that. And then this queue of girls that looked like me turned up halfway through the day and I was like hmm that's kind of weird but mm. whatever yeah and then they were like oh you can go now which was weird because usually you'd work till like 10 p.m yeah and this would have been like midday right and I was like okay Why? weird and then because I had worked with them a couple of times there was this person that I got on well with and I was like did they just like recast me whilst I was here and they were like yeah <gasps> oh, what the fuck? So like, like whilst someone, I was standing there you're joking so you no. went in to do the job and then yeah. they were like we need to recast yeah was I was still there oh, the whole oh, thing God. is so it's intense so how do you, you're just like cool bye you still got paid or what yeah I still got paid so I didn't mind oh okay my god, god they're all very, like you have to be super like tough more off the duck's back yeah that, yeah you know, I think like, so take it all with a pinch of salt you couldn't think into every day because it would just be like no I feel like I would I know I feel same like I, I feel like I'm too emotional yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. quite yeah. funny though like even I did this sheet for Elle magazine and I was like, this is cool. I'm going to be in Elle magazine. And I went to the local sweet shop when it came out. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> and I knew the guy because like, I've been buying my sweets there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Gary, I'm actually in this magazine. He was like, oh, okay, love. Like, let's see, let's see. Flick through. Every picture has been cut from the shoulders down. Oh they cut my face out of you're every lying time. Gary's like he's this like, is oh, not okay. you like what's going on here like you're lying yeah like why is this girl lying to me that she's in this magazine <laughs> he's like that's not your shoulder he's like it is wait what yeah but it's quite funny and they don't it? tell you because they can just do whatever they want right especially for magazines because magazines like you don't get paid very well for it you're just there for like the yeah. clout of being in it basically mm. but yeah funny god and then yeah well, I was like you know what I'm over it I'm going to live in New Zealand for a year and then I'm going to be a florist. And here we are. And here you are. And then you, you trained to be a florist, right? You yeah, went I went to, back to college yeah. to train, which I'd recommend if you want to be a florist, you should do that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It's such a different life. Like, it's like talking about two different people almost. I think that's why I don't really talk about it. And it's only because I spoke about it yesterday with Mel. Cause oh, did that you? Morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was like, that was like a big part of my life that I just never really spoke about. Yeah. I mean, also, like, I met you two years ago. Like, yeah. I never knew you then, and I'm sure... Even also the people I hung out with then, like, obviously I'm still friends with a few of them, but because all my friends were at university and, like, mm. doing very much their mm. own thing, yeah. it's not like I'd be like, oh, hi, yeah, I just got, like, told I'm too fat. Okay, love you, bye. How's yeah. uni? Like- yeah. <laughs> You're also so far away. You're probably yeah, just, like, dealing with it all job. on your own. Oh, I hit the microphone. That's fine. We can cut. Cut. Sorry, oh, everyone. No, we do not. Nah, You're holding yeah. that very Everyone's still. Everyone's like, ow! <laughs> yeah, in the car. Like, <laughs> okay, I feel like I've rounded about myself no, for ages. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, can we talk about bubbins? <gasps> bubbins needs it's a my moment. favorite topic. Like, yeah, my favorite topic too. <laughs> we have to talk about bub. Like we have to talk on his behalf. Because he's not here. He's not here. Obviously, but... Uh... So, Zach Bubbins is Emily's fiancé. Also, the best person in the world. The best person ever. We absolutely adore him. It's so funny that we met 
And then I was like, wow, I love this girl. And then you came round and you were like, oh, I'm bringing my boyfriend. Remember to like, kept come to our flat and we'd never met him. You were like, yeah, popping in. Yeah, I think we went. Oh, you dropped me flowers. Yeah. And then he was there and then we were like, hi. And he was just like, hi. And then you left and we were like, it's really nice. (laughs) He probably said three words and we were like. He he, has that effect on people. Yeah, we were like, wow, we want to hang out with him as well. Yeah. (laughs) What do you think? (laughs) <laughs> what do you think about Zach? He's the best. Also, what I love about him is that you both do like botanist. Is that what you'd say? Yeah. Things. Well, he's a garden designer. He's a garden designer, which is weird because when we met, we met at work. We both just worked in a shop, and so it's, mm. and he was stud- he was doing his final year of uni, so he was doing product design, mm. and so it is just kind of funny that we both ended up doing, doing like yeah. Planty very things. wholesome things like close to nature yeah it's love really it. sweet i love that and when he came around and did our plants in the garden i was just like <laughs> he had his special shears or whatever and i was like you're both plant people and it's so cool yeah what he's do you great. want to say about him sweetheart i don't know he's a nice <laughs> I <miss> boy <laughs> <laughs> i feel like i've been hanging out with emily so much more I know. than Zach recently we haven't really um, seen him yeah, which is obviously not necessarily a bad thing. I just miss my friend. Mm. You know? He's uh, the best. He's like he's one of those boy. people that you just feel so... Like, we always say this. We've said this so many times. When we leave you, we're like, you're both so, like, healthy and, like, not toxic people for us. You know mm. what I mean? Like, yeah. He's very calm. He's so... I feel like I could tell him all my problems and, like... I also like really trust him as a person. Yeah. Like, say he's it was quite like, dad vibes. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. say, like, even when we go camping or whatever... He'll be the first one up, like pottering around. Yeah, it's very like, that. And he'll yeah. help everyone like into their wetsuit, like yeah, little things yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm just like, what a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's such a potter. Like he always cooks when we go round. Yeah. He's always yeah. just like, and like if there was a zombie apocalypse, I feel like he'd be like, I trust that he'd know like yeah. what to do, and like he's very quietly like self-assured. Definitely. Mm. And he's just started his own thing too. He has. Should we shout that out? Come on, let's. Are we allowed? Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about that? Yeah, Green I mean, Boys. It's yeah, live, Green Boys it? Gardens. It's Green Boys cool. Gardens. Green Boys, baby. It's a garden design company. Yeah. Based yeah. in Brighton, Dave. Mm. It's very sick. And he's in a kind of similar position to you. Like, he has a job and he's doing that. Yeah, and like he does also really like his job. Where he works, it's like very big clients as well, and they do like massive jobs. And Green Boys, they want to do more like pubs and local That's gardens right. yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Um, and he just loves it. I know it's so sweet and isn't it's it? great I love that I feel like it's very lucky that we all do things that we love yeah like that's, I think it's rare yeah I do mm-hmm. as well like if you think about it like you both have your own things and you love your jobs yeah. and we're doing our own thing and we love what we do and I don't have many other mates that they're that we're all doing that yeah. do you know what I think is like having people like you and Bubbins in our life is like what gives me the strength to push for the, for 100%. doing this stuff yeah and feel positive about doing something that i love and, yeah. and want to take the risk to do and things yeah. like that because it's like you You're have to be surrounded well. by yeah. good people for that to feel yeah. doable yeah or for me anyway i think yeah. I'd feel, it would feel very overwhelming if no one gave a fuck and everyone was taking the piss out of me yeah if people totally. thought it was weird yeah, like, yeah. If everyone was I think we're quite lucky that we have a mixture of friends that are employed and do like a nine to five. Yeah. Or we have a lot of friends that do like creative mm-hmm. things. Yeah. And it's nice to see both, to see like the positives and negatives yeah, of both. Yeah, for sure. Because you've got friends that are very secure in their financial <laughs> yeah. situation. Oh, yeah, 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 That's yeah. quite comforting. And then you've got I'm people that are, like, yeah, yeah. that are like going for it like you are every month. And it's like... Like when we meet for coffee and I'm just like having a breakdown that yeah. I'm not selling anything or whatever. And then it's like, oh, like... You're like, it'll be fine and you get it because you're also like yeah, trying to get other projects and stuff on and you know that it's few and far between sometimes. we got to keep that positive spirit. God, I know. The amount of Even the other day when you had your like loads of good things happening, I was like, just remember this feeling when yeah. we sat on the yeah. beach in January. Yeah. <laughs> so feeling true. Bad. Yeah. So it's true. So true. <laughs> you're probably the person I speak to the most about that, like stress panic thing where it's like perfect yeah sorry about that she gets the brunt of it all my other friends I'm like everything's great thanks like, yeah. have a great week see you on Friday and like with you I'm like this has happened this has happened because I just feel like you understand the graft yeah you know no I, I get what you're saying for sure 
Also, I do have just an annoying personality where people just tell me things sometimes. Know, you're like a therapist. I don't know what it is. Um, my friend Charlotte's like, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. And I'm yeah. Like, look at you how? She's like, okay, here are all my secrets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally tell you all my secrets. It's so funny. It's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, <laughs> my, my God, yeah. Well, that's why you're perfect for this podcast. Yeah. Because yeah. we've, we've got some queries to go into. Should Ooh. we do them now? Yeah. Love the pod. Thank you very much Thanks. for saying that. <laughs> Emily? <laughs> thank you ever so much. <laughs> Emily, thank you. Congrats on the engagement. Thank you. Thank oh, you. That. I've been with my boyfriend a few years and have been very content for most of that time. Recently went away together for a couple of months and developed some pretty intense icks while we were abroad. I thought we'd feel more in love than ever, but it sort of had the opposite effect on me. It's made me question whether we're right for each other or if this is a no- or if this is normal as our relationship goes from honeymoon into long term. Also, some soul searching while away has me wondering if I should be single to do some inner healing, but I'm scared to take that leap in case he's the one and I break his heart and mine, only to realise that we were right for each other. Sorry, I took a pause in the wrong place there. <laughs> I get it. So the other questions, are X in a relationship normal? Are they a sign you're not with the one? Should you be single if you feel like, if you feel you'd like to be, or is this the second year ick when shit just gets a bit boring? Sorry for the long one. Thanks for any advice. That's a good one. Wow. Well, yeah, a really go good one. There. Yeah, lots, lots to think about, lots to unpack. Who um, wants to go first then? Should we? Should we like break it into Sections, a couple of things? Yeah. Like, let's talk about X and going away for a long time with your partner and developing X. I feel like just to start us off, mm. for sure there is like things do get boring, right? Mm-hmm. And also, not, two years is like a key yeah, stage for sure. That's what I was going to say. Like, it's two years. You're probably like sitting in the airport and you're hot and bothered and you're not staring into each other's eyes, like. <laughs> how you would be if you'd gone on holiday a few months in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's like something that I think a lot of people probably feel. I I agree, because obviously me and Zach had only been dating for like 10 months when we moved to New Zealand. Mm. And I think obviously traveling is very romanticized and it's like, this is going to be the best time of our life, blah, 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 blah. But also traveling is almost like moving in together, but more intense Mm -hmm. because you spend every single second together. Yeah. And so I think it's completely natural yeah. to be like, oh God, this isn't like what it was, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Cause it is just a very intense thing. Even when you yeah. go with a friend, yeah. you're seeing the terrible sides of each other. Cause it's yeah, not always, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. always relaxing, every is it? Part, don't yeah. you? Even so when you like... live together, you can go sit in the other room. Like yeah. it's when you're traveling, you're, like you're on sat... a bunk bed next to each other. Yeah. Being like, I kind of hate you right now. Totally. <laughs> and you're like packing up and going here and going there. Like there's a lot, I can, I've, I can imagine there's a lot of mundane shit that has to happen and like yeah. finding directions. It's and that's, stressful. It's a real mm-hmm. environment to bicker and to find difficult for sure. I feel like it's probably quite a good thing to do to test a relationship. Yeah. Like you, obviously you and Bobbin survived that. <laughs> Just about. <no. laughs> but fun. like you kind of thrive in that environment. I feel like you two are quite good at that. Yeah. That's the thing. It's not easy, but it definitely was just like a very good time. Yeah. So that's the other thing. It's being like, oh, it's it will be like that, but also it shouldn't be so hard that you're you start to kind of resent parts of them. Exactly. But yeah. icks. I hate the word icks because I feel like that's just like a social media thing. I know, and it can mean loads of different things. People it feels say mean. like, yeah, like saying that you've got the ick means like it's over. People say that like, yeah. I've got the ick. Bye. But actually, like, icks are probably just, like, awkward traits and awkward moments when you're away. Well, I feel away. like if you're seeing someone and they give you the ick, then that then you can take that as, like, not going to not gonna bother with that anymore. Yeah. I mm. think getting the ick... I think an ick developing for the person that you're in a relationship with is different. Yeah. Totally. And is natural, probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you can say, I don't like when you do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, again, I mean, every single thing always boils down to um, communication, communication, really, doesn't yeah. it? So yeah. it's like, firstly, how how do they respond when you tell them about the ick? Or have you, you know? told them? Or have you well, even told them? Well, that's it. Are they all yet? building up in your head and you're like, because oh, also, you're what this, this. what this whole... Um, the whole message sounds qu- quite a lot to me. I mean, I'm only guessing, but it sounds like there's lots of thoughts going on yeah. and none of them have been spoken about. For sure. Like, I sort of get that kind of vibe. Same. You know, there's like lots of things going around and, and actually just communicating 
half of those things. The dog's going absolutely mental. Freed. It's like very... <laughs> She's adorable. <laughs> Can you stop? Stop Aww. doing that. You're going to cut yourself. Love you. Um, okay, yeah. Um, for sure. Even if just some of those things were communicated, it might... It might, might help? Like, help and, like, show you the right kind of direction that you think mm. you should be heading in. It might um, give you some perspective because sitting there being like that's annoying that's annoying oh mm. god i hate how they do that mm. it's all very self you're talking to yourself which will probably make it worse yeah. whereas if you're just like hey when like when we went away like i like they've said that they didn't feel as in love as they thought they would like that's mm. a lot of pressure to put on something mm-hmm. that like maybe the uh, maybe your partner wasn't feeling it maybe it wasn't a good time for them you know what i mean it doesn't mean that you're not in love yeah in love like this is a good example when we were away obviously got engaged third day in maybe like second day engaged mm. we had a bit of a dull day where we were like it kind of felt like a is low the end? <laughs> yeah. yeah guys it's a sneak done? peek we nearly broke up no, yeah. but like it was like the the huge high yeah. had worn away a bit because everyone had stopped messaging us mm-hmm. and we were like it was a bit cloudy and we were boiling and we were bickering all day and the vibe was just off and it's we, overwhelming as well so you've just had like, sure. this massive life event and then you start thinking oh my god i'm engaged like what the hell blah, everything's blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it brings you back down to earth totally. a little bit when you're like oh and like i didn't feel you know it wasn't our whole trip wasn't oh my god we're, we're so in love every day that day we fucked each other off and it was just a bit of a boring day and like but you can't think into that because yeah. that's real life yeah um I think also, like, time changes people Mm. and relationships develop constantly. Yeah. Like, we're not the same as we were three years ago. Mm. And I think travelling speeds that up. I think you do change a lot. because You know when people come back and it's the cliche of, like, oh, I found myself. Yeah. But, like... I definitely did that. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 you're, yeah. yeah. It definitely uh-huh. does because you have a lot of time to think uh-huh. and you're not in a normal routine. You're out of your comfort zone. So you're seeing like how you react in certain situations. Mm-hmm. So they're both in that situation. Yeah. So it's a really intense. So I would say my advice would be just to like take it easy for a bit, come yeah. back home, don't overthink it, see how it goes mm-hmm. and then make a decision. I feel like now is probably... Yeah. not the greatest time when you're feeling all these things mm. especially about like when she's saying about he or she i don't mm. know is saying about um they need to do some self self what did they say like yeah. self reflection and things yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like or well, maybe healing. do that and then think about your relationship yeah the only thing i would say might contradict what you just said but just throwing Ooh, this out here yeah well <laughs> let's have some controversy <laughs> i feel like when people say like should i be single to do this it's like mm. i don't know if you should even be in that realm yeah like, I, I do think, agree with yeah, that like i like don't the think the mindset there is is is, is slightly that, off already it's like you know? if you're asking if you should be without them maybe you should like why yeah, that's are you that's quite a bold i would statement. never like want to be without you you know what i mean even when you're in a massive argument it's never like well we should break it's up. never that quick so i'm wondering if you are like using and this is me totally just spitballing using the holiday icks and you weren't that in love and you're kind of like all, all these reasons but actually do you want to be with them if you're saying maybe i should be single it's like whoa mm-hmm. that's like a big statement to make yeah yeah or I it's just you. massive overthinking well well yeah that's it, that's it i think that can also could also be put down to like what I was saying before, it's like it sounds like none of this has been discussed with yeah, anyone. So it's bubbling up. Or maybe just with like mates on the WhatsApp group and like maybe yeah. that's not helping. You because... hate them. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they're all toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like, think you need to like lay all this on the table and be like, yeah. Hey, I, I felt like our trip was a bit tough. I didn't feel that in love. Oof. I'm a bit worried. Maybe not that maybe bit. Not that. <laughs> maybe not that bit. But like but, really be honest because yeah, they might be like, oh, yeah, yeah. same. Like we yeah. argued loads and then you might feel closer or mm. they might be like, what? Like, yeah, I don't know. Like you I'd kind agree. of need to bounce off the other person and figure out, Yeah, is this all just in your head or... Because also, sorry, I'm just rereading it. Like they've said, I don't want to like break his heart and mine. Like, and it's just like... I don't know. That Sad. feels very far away from where you are now. You're thinking mm. about what he's going to do when you break up. It's a bit like... Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's I like... I think, a... like, yeah, both, probably both of you deserve 
to talk about it we always before say that, any we? of that like yeah before that even crosses your mind you know it's that's like, it um you know there were like two parts what yeah. was the second part the second also, part quickly can i just say yeah, one thing yeah, of course you can. when they have that conversation i wouldn't list all the things that annoyed you yeah because no one needs to hear that like, yeah it's not nice that's gonna make it worse yeah i feel like you can say like what you said mm. about how it stresses stressed me out a bit mm. i think we clashed at some points mm-hmm. What How are we think? gonna get through it? Because sure. I've had a friend and they had a breakup and she got told all the things that oh. she did that annoyed mm, him. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, quite savage. Yeah, it's yeah. quite like, irrelevant. It doesn't need to be said. Yeah, it's done. And also, yeah. like, yeah. that's quite hard to hear one after the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I hate Although, when you obviously, hit your fork then... on your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just like, oh, it, oh, oh. If, <laughs> if, if it is chest. like specific things though, that like these icks, it's like maybe like you gauge how the first conversation goes down yeah. and or then... how easy it is to change like yes. if it's like yeah. it annoys me yeah. when you do this and they can be like oh sorry I won't do that whereas if yeah. it's like an integral part of their personality yeah, 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 it's yeah. not fair to be like it yeah. really annoys me when they you do this they kind of should be yeah. how they are in a way Yeah. the second part of it was are X in a relationship normal and, and are they a oh, yeah. sign can we not... just answer that like, yeah. like uh, on a surface level <laughs> yeah, Have yeah. You, does, does that give you the ick do you get not very from often Zach? He sometimes hits his fork on his teeth and it makes me so angry that I just have to stare at him angrily and then he's like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, yeah, you give me... You have loads. I have so well, many. actually, hang on, no. Can I say, no. like, what I'm talking yeah, about? Because like, that sounds I'm quite horrible. Answer. After we're I'm just like, don't list you. the icks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are they? It, not icks, but, like, obviously in our relationship there are things like you do that annoy me yes but, but, but i don't of... know if that's different from actually getting the ick because like you very rarely give me the ick i can't think oh of no one, you don't like, give yeah. me the ick. not for all the time <laughs> but like <laughs> I mean, you like, wanting oh, to eat a pot noodle up. in bed it's yeah. like you love sorry you love doing <laughs> that <laughs> so like obviously i'd prefer if you didn't do that because you spill it on the sheet sometimes but like that's something <laughs> that you eat a pot noodle <laughs> yeah well, they're just really aggressive it's like yeah they're always just like but it's like you love doing that so that's not something that I'm Let like. Let the boy live. <laughs> yeah, it annoys me, but it's a very surface. Yeah, I feel like somewhat. you're right as well about like that's annoying, but not an ick. For sure. I don't think Zach's ever done something that I've been like, ew, that really icked me out. No, but, but then maybe some people do, and I don't know. That's a difficult one. Also, like, should you be single if you feel? Sorry, should you be single if you feel you'd like to be? Or is this the second year itch, ick, when shit gets boring? It's like, if you feel like you'd like to be single, I think you should be single, no? Well, mm. yeah. I mean, that's that's quite, uh, like, it's, it's that's, like, quite a strong, sweeping statement. Mm. And I think it's definitely necessary to, to like, explore why mm. you feel like that, mm. you know? But I think, again, that boils down to, like, communication yeah. to start with. I think the everyone involved in that situation deserves to be able to talk about it before you start you throwing things like to, that out yeah that you yeah. want to be single you know um although i mean it's a very personal thing isn't it if you want to be single who's to tell you that you can't be single well yeah i just think maybe they're thinking oh my god do i want to be single like this mm. all sounds very like the holiday everything's gone a bit back wrong and then you're like yeah. oh we weren't even in love and then they're like oh don't. it sounds like i mean we have no idea no yeah. that was the last question in the thing yeah. so maybe that's just something that you're like panicking about yeah and i don't think the two-year thing should get boring it does just get more like serious or more like you have to work hard to not even work hard but the honeymoon thing has kind of gone but i found that more exciting because you're like cool now we're getting serious like what's gonna happen now totally so Mm. it's exciting but in a different way you're not gonna have like massive fireworks and all Mm. these things because you know everything about each other especially if you've just been traveling yeah to see them like sweating carrying a backpack like completely i find it difficult when people are like oh the honeymoon phase is worn you're gonna it's like i know we've only been together for like three and a half years but it's like I don't feel like it wears away. I think it changes, like yeah. you said. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we're not like staring at each other and not like, you know, doing anything else. It's what we did when we first met. We were like <laughs> completely infatuated. We have to like live our lives. Mm-hmm. But I completely agree. Like this whole like, oh, two years and now it's boring. It's like, it shouldn't ever be boring. It should no. be, it should be like exciting in a different way. Yeah. Maybe they should just, you know, be chill. 
<laughs> perfect advice. Yeah. Take but some breaths. Just go on some nice dates. Yeah. And see, do I actually still really enjoy your company? Because that's Make, all yeah. being a relationship is. Is do you like hanging out with that person? Mm-hmm. Completely. Otherwise, yeah. you just hit the nail the on the head. It's yeah. a little bag. So it's literally not. the sim- It's as simple as that. Do you look at them and feel like oh, warm inside, and mm. you want to spend a night having dinner and in the pub with them? Like, yeah. Agreed. That is. That's a good. That's a really good one. We didn't even think about that. And I think there's a lot of pressure about like, oh, if you're not in the perfect relationship, then you should be single. Yeah. And like, I've had pals where it's like, they're, because relationships go like up and down, up and down. Yeah. And when you're in the downs, it's like, should I be single? Like, or maybe you got together quite young and it's like, is there anything else out there? But mm. it's like, if you're in a good situation and you really love them and they love you, like, great, you've hit the jackpot. Like, yeah, that's what we're all looking explore. for. That's the goal. For sure. Mm. I think that also people romanticise being single, I think, yeah. a lot. I mean, they, they also romanticise being in a relationship, but the whole like, oh yeah, be single and figure out who you are. It's like, I do think you can do that in a relationship. It just has yeah. to be a healthy one. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've like found... like sleeping around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that kind of finding, finding out who you are. But like, I feel like I've found out a lot about myself and done a lot of my like inner healing, like they said, in the message being with you. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't think that means... Because they've kind of said, like, I need to do some inner healing. Should yeah. I be on my own? You don't have to do that alone. Fully. But you do mm. have to be with someone that's going to support you through that. Yeah. And I don't think that's something that you can do without telling them you're, how you feel yeah. about everything. You know, yeah. like... Completely. You can't be you can't be keeping secrets to your partner while you're trying to heal. Fully. I don't think. I hope we've Amen. been helpful... <laughs> Yeah. It's a big question. Oh, it's a huge, it's a yeah, huge it's a question. question. And like, obviously, like we say all the time, we are, we not. are not therapists. <laughs> and but like, we are no. on this podcast, so. Yeah. You've got a florist, a painter. And <laughs> yeah, and a filmmaker. <laughs> a filmmaker. Yeah. Emily is a therapist though, so <laughs> she's my therapist. Do they ever get back to you and say like, thank you so much for yeah. talking yeah. about it? We had yeah. one. Um, well, they're like, I hated all your advice. Yeah, we haven't had anyone say that, which is really nice. Mm. Thank you for just staying silent if you hate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, people say, like, you've answered my question. Like, thank you. I can't remember what the message... We haven't... That's ah, all right. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah that's we nice. don't need to go into people's details. But, they, but yeah, like, people get back in touch. And yeah. Like, that that's was hand, so that was helpful. nice. Thank you. Because that's the other thing. You don't want people to ask, and then you talk about it, and then they're like, oh, that was, like, not what I hated. Yeah. yeah. We always well, try and put a positive spin on it, don't you think? Yeah, well, I think we try and be open-minded and helpful Mm. because, like, I think we have helpful stuff to say. Yeah. Um, And it's so tough because the message is, like, we we don't know who they are, we don't know the backstory. So you've got to really be quite... But don't you think, though, it's, like, actually, if you had something that was burning up inside you, that being able to listen for 20 minutes for yeah. other people and strangers talking, strangers yeah. talking just about your situation the yeah. that's actually I'd quite like to send some yeah same them, like. I think it would be quite therapeutic yeah because even when you have like two different friendship groups or something and you're telling one person from one friendship group stuff that's going on in the other friendship group yeah. so they don't really know yeah the they're, they're just history. saying their advice yeah. kind yeah. of spit I feel like that is helpful because yeah. you're like cool you have no outside influence you can For just sure. say no what you biased actually think. thing yeah, like yeah, we don't know yeah. who these people are yeah also it's nice that you've come on and given your opinion because it mixes it up because people probably listen and know kind of how we feel about things so having someone else in it's nice to like have another opinion Defo. Thanks for coming, Emily. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so Emily. much for coming on the podcast. Can you come on it again another <laughs> time? So I feel like whenever we hang out now, we'll just do this. I know. I would <laughs> yeah. love that. In the pub, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. your opinions on that? Yeah, I'm like, so we've got some questions. Just have a little read through. Yeah. We should do a yes or no. Do you want to see Emily on the podcast again? No. no <laughs> well, that's so mean. Great. We're and saying yes. So we should do a yes or no. Do we want other podcast, podcast like, guests yeah is yeah. the guest annoying think? Oh, I think the guest mixes it up and is it's it not too just many us cooks? on the feed and it's like <laughs> yeah hearing about your life is so interesting I love it thanks no, thanks so been much a wild for coming ride. on yeah. <laughs> god yeah literally you're like so I lived in China and it was yeah. just like yeah. whoa a breakdown <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's great it's good to talk about yeah thanks Em love should we you. wrap it should we all put our hands in the middle <laughs> yeah Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye. Love ya. Love ya.